did you make that decision to start sharing your story? For many, that is really terrifying, especially the first time you do it. First of all, to find my voice at all after my life completely changed and I had to rebuild was very difficult. I really started having to learn how to do my elevator pitch for myself with my clothing brand, right? And I was able to develop a great brand, very long lasting. People remember me for it. But then after I was done with the you know, fashion, as I moved into segued into being a podcaster and originally started off as a, just a passion project, I was really tired of the labels that I carried on myself the labels that other people put on me. And I think everybody experiences this. And so for me, this was part of my growth, right? Growing from everything I've been through, growing into my new life. And it's terrifying. It's so scary to just really want to talk about your story and share it with people. But usually when you're vulnerable, that's when people love you the most is because they can connect with you and they can find a place where they can relate and they actually appreciate you being brave because they're living kind of vicariously through you. And so as I've gone through this podcasting journey and I've opened up more and more and more, it's been like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It's like, there are no more skeletons in the closet. Everybody knows where the bodies are buried. That's it. Everyone. <laughs> you think you got a secret on me? You don't. It's, it's all out there. <laughs> <laughs> 